What's up guys, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and we're gonna do some sound design in Steve Duda's synth. So we're gonna use Serum for this one and gonna make something that's like a Mord Fustang chord, a uh, really fat chord that you can use in different projects. So let's get started. This is a initialized patch and I have oscillator A on. Let's turn on oscillator B. Let's go ahead and bring oscillator A pitch down one octave. And let's go ahead and click on default analog, go to basic shapes, do this uh, same thing for oscillator B. Let's go ahead and choose our wavetables. So let's drag this up to the square wave. Let's drag the other one up to a saw. So leave that there. Um, now what we're, what we can do, actually, I think I have this pretty low. So. I'm going to put this at zero and bring this up an octave. So we have a very basic melody playing back. Now what we want to do is drive the oscillator A and B through the filter. And we'll turn on some noise as well to, to add some nice little high and shine as well. So before we turn on the filter, let's turn on noise. And I recommend using the bright white. You can experiment with whatever you like. And let's go ahead and drag the level. We'll just put at something like, I don't know, 15%. It's fine. Let's go over to the filter section. Turn on oscillator B, turn on noise. And let's drive the, put the drive at about 20%. The fatness, maybe around 12, 13% and the resonance around 12%. Go ahead and drag the cutoff all the way up. Turn on the filter. So you can see what that's doing there is it's running it through the filter. The resonance, the fatness, and the drive is giving it some extra distortion. It's giving it some extra brightness. And uh, that's the sound that we want to go towards. And we can build upon this by adding uh, unison. Uh, we can do some detuning. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we can do. Next, we'll move on to detuning. So because this uh, saw wave is going to be the high end portion of this sound, let's go ahead and drag the unison up to uh, seven. This is my favorite setting. Drag down the, the detune and introduce it and find the sweet spot that you like. That's cool. That's nice there. It's nice at a uh, four. So that's a 0 0.04. That's pretty good. We have the noise going through to the filter. So the um, design of this wave form, these waveforms is pretty basic. But next we want to go and take a look at um, take a look at envelope one because we want to shape this sound. If you notice with a lot of chords that you hear in sounds, the initial pluck is very loud, but then it does sustain, but the sustain is a bit lower. So what you can do is leave the sustain, or sorry. Yeah, you can leave that sustain, but drag down the sustain. So what you can do is put maybe like something like that. Just to give it that initial um, click, I'm going to put the attack, yeah, sure, 0.3 ms, that's okay. 0.3 ms attack, drag down that sustain so that it's uh, playing like a sustained synth, but then it goes down. So the volume slightly goes down to give more impact at the initial uh, hit of the note. Next, let's uh, delve into the effects. Um, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add the dimension, distortion, um, also some EQ. Dimension just to expand the stereo field to give the illusion that it's a bit wider. Okay. So for this one, you can leave a lot of the defaults. Uh, what we'll adjust are the mix levels for the dimension and the hyper here. So let's turn this down.
So what we did there, mix is around uh, 11%, same thing for the uh, hyper, 11%, 11%, size around 11 or 12% to not add too much trail when the note ends. Next, I'm going to do some uh, tube distortion. We'll adjust the drive and the mix level. Also going to add some EQ. To wrap everything up, you can add a compressor in this uh, tutorial. I won't add a compressor. But we'll leave it as it is now. And now we'll go to our MIDI and experiment, see what we can do. What I like to do um, sometimes is go to my root key. Uh, there are a lot of tactics I use similar to Dead Mouse, how he starts with his root key and builds upon it. Maybe if he wants to build like a D sharp minor, then he starts with D sharp, moves on to the next note. Or he might play a sustain note throughout the entire time, four bars or eight bars, and build chords that sound good to him that are musical to him. So I'm gonna fiddle around and I might speed up this portion of the video, but uh, stay tuned, we'll see how it sounds. And there you have it, very basic, um, very simple. And you can really expand this by adding reverb, by adding um, just a few little things to boost it up. So let's increase this noise up to 16% and let's add some reverb. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the reverb within Serum, but since you can automate and do crazy stuff in their matrix, I do use it a lot for builds. So let's go ahead and add some reverb. basic i hope you guys found this tutorial useful using this methodology you'll be able to make easy go-to chord sounds and poly sounds that can be used for melodies and chords very easily and you'll be able to manipulate it towards your liking but i think that's one uh, thing that gets overlooked a lot of times people stack too many saw waves but if you combine a uh, square wave with saw wave you can get some really cool harmonics and uh, i really like the way that this sounds Obviously, there's room to improve it, but as it is, it's very easy, very go-to. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you guys saw in the comments, uh, what you guys want to see for future sounds, if you want to see bass lines, if you want to see other synths, reviews. Uh, also, in my previous video, a guy left a comment saying to leave feedback for him. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a feedback video where I can uh, give you guys some kind of a rundown of what I think I can you guys can improve in your mix downs or mastering or synth sound design so whatever it is like share comment subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial uh, also there will be a download link to the preset that I've created here so I'm going to upload that as well check the video description for all the details cheers